Hello and welcome to the 90s. It's me, your friend from school. Um, I just found out that, guess what? AOL Instant Messenger is back. Um, there's a group out there. Uh, they have a website and um, I guess they're a fan group or something. And they created a server that connects to AOL Instant Messenger, the old software. They didn't write new software that mimics AOL Instant Messenger. You can download the actual installer for AOL Instant Messenger, install the program. You just have to change the server information in the program and it, it acts just like AOL Instant Messenger. So we are going to explore that and I'll show you how to set it up as well. So here we go. So many memories of Windows 98, yeah. Yeah, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna open my retro browser, Retrozilla, which works on Windows 98 and connects to the modern internet. Uh, I went ahead and bookmarked this site already. I will put the link in the description, but it's called uh, Phoenix. And if, if you search uh, chat like it's 1999, it'll come right up. Uh, so here's what you do, okay? Um, the first thing you'll wanna do is go to the downloads page right here. And depending on your operating system, um, different versions of the client um, works, you know, like they'll work differently, um, some better than others, I guess. Now, they recommend version 5.1 for modern operating systems like Windows 10, okay? I am using Windows 98. I went ahead and downloaded 5.0, just kind of arbitrarily picked that one, so, you know, somewhere in the middle. But they recommend 5.1. So I did 5.0, you do 5.1 if you're using Windows 10. Okay, um, so you once you download it, like I already downloaded it and I have it in my doctor's aim, you can go ahead and install that. Um, yeah, I already have it installed and running, so I'm not gonna continue the installation, but you can go ahead and continue the installation. I'm gonna exit setup for me, because I already did it. Um, so once that's running, you will be able, oh, I forgot a crucial step. Um, so go ahead and yeah, go ahead and install that. But before you can log into AOL Instant Messenger, you'll need to register an account with this website. It's like a forum. So you just give them your email address uh, and, and password. And here's the thing: at least as of the making of this video, uh, they they their uh, email their email confirmation system is broken. So the you'll get an error message saying that it can't send an email and it's going to say confirm your email address and you won't be able to so you got to go to their discord um and i'll put their discord in the description as well but you got to go to their discord and ask them to confirm your email address manually all right so once you do that you'll be able to log in to their forum and you'll be able to use those credentials on aol instant messenger okay but before you can do that before you can log into AOL Instant Messenger, this is the most important part, okay? So if we go to their FAQs here, so this is the Phoenix Patcher. Now I didn't use the Patcher, I manually patched it. Um, so they have right here an address. It says phoenixim.dds, or sorry, phoenixim.ddns.net. You'll wanna copy that. Okay, I'll put that in the, in the description. Copy that, go to your AOL Instant Messenger program, um, find, okay, so once, uh, once, you've, uh, once you've created your account with the Phoenix website, you open up AOL Instant Messenger, you find this wrench icon down at the bottom, at least in version 5.0, it's a wrench icon at the bottom, and you click Preferences. Then you find the Sign On Off tab here. Um, in this section, you'll see a button that says connection. Go ahead and click that. And then uh, host server. As it says here, uh, the default login, uh, the default address is login.oscar.aol.com. You'll want to replace that with phoenixim.ddns.net, which is what I've done here. Uh, the port needs to be 5190. The port was already 5190. Uh, when I started the application so I didn't have to change it. Um, I don't know what that error is that keeps popping up. 
Uh, but yeah, once that's set up, you click OK, click OK, and you're in. You got it. Now the hard part is finding friends to talk to. Um, I I added this person named Supervisor, uh, but he has never been online since I added him. Um, he's the only person I've ever added. So that's it. Uh, you can add me if you want. My a, uh, my AOL screen name is Pinesal, P-I-N-E-S-A-L. Look for me on AOL Instant Messenger. I'll try and have this up occasionally. Uh, so there you go. That's how you set up AOL Instant Messenger in 2022. There you go.